At this point, we have been joined in the conversation by Dixon Irebu, who is the director of New Media, IM Presidential Campaign Organization. Good morning, Dixon. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Dixon. Good, morning, Good to have you on, join yeah. us. From filmmaking to corporate. Thank you very much. All right, from filmmaking <laughs> to core politics. Tell us what are the chances of your man, uh, former Senate President Payosayim, given the fact that he's not considered to be among the top four. You know, the top four uh, being Natiku Abubaka, Bukola Saraki, Yesom Wike, um, Tambua. Do you think that your man is capable of springing any surprise today and tomorrow? Uh, those projections, I'm, I'm sure, is not by the party. Neither was, is, was it made by the delegates. Uh, the, at this moment, it is uh, the delegates that will decide who will fly the, the party flag. And um, we're very, very determined to uh, win this. Uh, we're very optimistic uh, because my candidate, my principal, uh, Senator Pius, Anjan Pius, uh, of course, he has, he has done his homework very well. Trust me you will be surprised what would, what would come out um, eventually. Is that homework, um, uh, does it involve a heavy war chest? Because what we're hearing these days is that you need loads of money <laughs> in dollars, you know, to be able to sway the delegates. What is your strategy? Are you, or are you just hoping against hope that something good will come out of this? Uh, 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 trust me, uh, yes, money is important in politics, and um, my principal knows that much. He didn't join this race not prepared. He was very prepared about war chest. I sh I'm sure it's the media that is pushing that part of war chest. The party knows that, one, they want to win election. The party understands the, the, the character of pious and impious. Trust me. And... Um, it's not about hope alone, but hope is important. And remember the, the God factor in all of this. Because whether we like it or not, the Nigerian people deserve better. The Nigerian people are praying. The Nigerian people are expectant that uh, PDP will do justice, not just uh, to the highest bidder, but also to the most loyal, to also uh, the yearnings of the Nigerian people, which is that uphold your constitution. The issue of zoning is important. And yes, you think it may have been concluded. No, it's not over yet because it is written in black and white in the constitution of the party that rotation of, uh, uh, of power uh, uh, should be upheld and zoning is there in the constitution of the party. All of these factors must be considered while you are making your projection. So, Anim Pius Anim stands a very... Uh, uh, he has a wonderful opportunity to clinch the ticket and indeed bring the right leadership that is desired by the Nigerian people. Well, all right. I mean, you just said money is not a factor, but it's been proven a factor because, uh, you know, like... No, no, I said, I, said, I, said it is, I said it is a factor. It mm. is a factor, all right, mm -hmm. and that my candidate... Of course, knew all of what is required before getting involved in this race. Yes, I know, because he's been traveling around just a few weeks ago. He was in Zamfara wooing delegates. Now, if he happens to clench your party's ticket, what are his chances in the North? Pius Anim is one of those Nigerians, if not about the few Nigerians who can find a home anywhere in Nigeria, including northern Nigeria. Remember, he was former Senate president. He wasn't just made former Senate president by just the zone where he comes from. It was by the collective of uh, his colleagues there in the, in the Red Chamber. Remember also that he was a former secretary to the federal government, the government of the Federation. All of these factors <laughs> will count for him about his chances in the North. Northern Nigeria needs the right leadership and clearly, Pius represents that. Northern Nigeria cannot sustain this capital of poverty in the world. Northern Nigeria cannot continue in this direction of insurgency and all that we are experiencing in that part of uh, Nigeria and other parts of Nigeria. So about his chances in the north and other parts of Nigeria, Pius, Anjan Pius, is your candidate to look at for.
Trust right. me. Let, let's talk about uh, the internal dynamics of your party, the PDP as a whole. So do you believe, I mean, over the last few days, we, we were just talking earlier about a number of walkouts from the party. Do you believe that Nigerians will vote the PDP back into power in spite of who holds the ticket? Nigerians have tested uh, PDP for 16 years and uh, seven years plus almost eight years of APC. We know better. And um, <laughs> you, even you yourself, my dear sister, you're asking me this question. I, is your life better than what it was before 2015? Can you go to the market with the kind of money you, you used to go to the market with as far as 2015? PDP would definitely, would definitely uh, come back to power. But it depends on what the party does today, tomorrow. If the party upholds justice, if the party upholds equity, if the party upholds fairness, then the Nigerian people naturally would say, why not? Let's stay with who we know. We want to go back to when dollar was less than 200 naira. We want to go back to when a bag of gari, a bag of rice was less than, less than 10,000 naira. We want to go back to when the Nigerian young people you know, could have access to what is available. The, the issues that uh, this current administration, you know, <laughs> it's terrible. The, the, the government of uh, President Muhammad Buhari clearly uh, has done a lot of damage to our country. And PDP is ready to rescue and rebuild our nation. But like I said, it depends on what the party does today, tomorrow. I hope it upholds justice. I hope it upholds equity and fairness. Well, uh, Dixon, justice, equity, and fairness uh, are the things that the party, of course, will tell you that as, you know, it stands for. But then this is down to the delegates. It's down to the wire. So my question to you is that looking at the top four that you do not seem to agree with, there's no single Igbo or... Uh, a southeastern candidate there. Your man is from the southeast. Peter Obi has just left your fold. Uh, Mazi Samomabwa does not feature here. What are the chances of um, an Igbo, Igbo man or the candidate of the southern southeast extraction clinching the ticket and imagine as the president ultimately? As a lot of people I've been talking about even people from the Southwest, a fairy fairy leadership, for example, things that it ought to be the uh, 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 time, you know, for Southeast to rule. But then it looks like your best chance from the Southeast and PDP now will be Ayim Pius Ayim. So I asked you again, the delegates Clearly. will decide what happens. How in clear terms do you think that you will beat the other four who appear to be more popular, who appear to be stronger, and who appear to be more loaded than your man. <laughs> okay, the delegates are Nigerians, aren't they? They are not aliens, they are Nigerians, and they are part of this country. Um, no matter what the projection of the media may be, trust me, even the people we, we compete, uh, copied the kind of democracy we're practicing, that's America. Remember in 2016 the kind of projection the media gave? And what, how did it turn out? Remember even within our climb here, 2007, 2011, 2015, the media gave their projections. Uh, was it accurate? Uh, the, the accuracy, was it there? So the chances of uh, my candidate, Senator Anim Pius Anim, is very high, trust me. And then of course, Thank God you, you mentioned the, the, the position of the crop of leaders in Nigeria. The Afenifere, the Ohaneze, the uh, Middle Belt, the, even the Northern Elders Forum and all of that. Everybody, everybody knows that if indeed this is our nation, if indeed we are eager to build an egalitarian nation, then we must give every citizen, every zone, every region a sense of ownership of the land a sense of belonging. And if we miss it in 2023, I'm very, very certain that a lot of us who are also involved in the everyday activities in Nigeria know the danger that, that it portends. So for us, it is about saving our nation. It is about ensuring that we leave something for our children. 
It is it's about ensuring that indeed the giant of Africa will arise and take its rightful place. Remember when Senator Anjim Pius Anjim was uh, SGF? The economy of our country was over $555 billion. Where are we today? <laughs> Where are we today? The, remember about the uh, 2014 National Confab document. Nigerians are yearning for a restructured environment. We want to have a renegotiated nation. And indeed, that document is gathering dust. Uh, the presidency of Anim Pius Anim would dust that document up and take it to the National Assembly. And he understands the language of the National Assembly. They are his colleagues. We will be able to ensure that this nation does not go adrift because this whole clamor for secession and agitation for one thing or the other is simply because of the injustice in our country. And trust me, these delegates are human beings. These delegates are Nigerians. Money may be given, but their conscience will be pricked by the happenings in our country. All right, Dixon, before we let you go, uh, you are in charge of uh, Payan Saim's uh, new media profile. How is your man doing on social media? Yes. Uh, the general consensus seems to be that the movement that everybody is talking about on social media is Peter Obi. How are you competing? And as the man who is responsible to make him look good on social media, tell us, you know, your own assessment is Pius. I am Pius, I am uh, the man to beat on uh, social media, on social media now. Uh, <laughs> our strategy is not, uh, at this stage, is not about social media. All right. First, we have to get the party ticket. Once we get the party ticket, our presence in the social media is clear. PDP is the party. It's not about the individual right now. Yes. Uh, my uh, uh, brother, uh, our brother, His Excellency uh, Governor Peter Obi, yes, he's out there in the social media doing all of that. Well, he also saw that social media uh, couldn't get him the PDP ticket. All right? So all of those popularity in the social media is not where we are at the moment. Where we are right now is to get the party ticket, and that's our focus. Once we get the party ticket... Strategy will be put together. The party will get together and work very hard to ensure that we push our candidate, which, which I believe God, I'm very optimistic, will be Senator Anim Pius Anim. And the, the mission of the party is clear. Rescue and rebuild Nigeria. And Anim is pushing for a greater Nigeria. That is the vision, and that is what is trending. Uh, those other angles of uh, social media, by the time we reel out the program after this convention and we would have gotten the ticket, I'm very certain the Nigerian people will buy into it. All right. Thank you very much for joining us on The Morning Show.